Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do the government schemes for the month of September 2019. Really important schemes. I think 10 or 11 schemes are launched. So for the RBI grade B 2019 exam, these schemes are really, really important for phase one as well as for the ESI section of phase two, ESI paper of phase two. So we start with the Umid, unique methods of management and treatment of inherited disorders. So this is a uh, full form. And this uh, scheme is launched by the Ministry of Science and Technology. So little strange, uh, it can confuse you in the exams, but it is launched by the Ministry of Science and Technology. And the objective is to help people who cannot afford expensive care for the genetic disorders. Helping the people who cannot afford genetic disorders and aims are establish the Nidan National Inherited Disease Administration Kendras, Kendra to provide management counseling and uh, prenatal testing and multidisciplinary uh, care in the government hospitals. Kitna Koga, I highly doubt. And to produce skilled clinics in the human genetics and to undertake proper screening for, of, uh, for inherited genetic diseases in the pregnant women and the newborn babies. So basically, uh, that's not really important. Uh, the important parts are to establish the Nidan Kendra to help. Uh, these kids right and launched by which ministry so this is the goal so umid scheme the goal is to help uh, the kids with the genetic disorders right so very important second one the mark darshan and the mark darshak scheme mark darshan and the mark darshak scheme uh, it's a hindi word as the name suggest uh, so basically there are 10, uh, 10 to 12 potential good institutes in India in which the average enrollment is at least 70% and uh, they need, they are willing to get the mentorship uh, from AICTE uh, uh, then the some good institutes, the good institutes like IITs, they are going to provide the guidance or the mentorship to these two institutes who has who, who has the potential the in you who have the potential to become a very good institute right so the ministry of hrd obviously launched this uh, scheme the mark darshan and the mark darshak uh, there should be at least 70 percent enrollment in these institutes and the government is provide going to provide funding of up to 50 lakh per institution over the period of three years in installments for various activities and obviously uh, the objective is to guide the institutes with low accreditation to improve the quality so that uh, they'll be able to get accreditation by the NBA to improve the quality of edu uh, education in these institutes, right? So institutes are provided with the Mark Darshaks, uh, better, you know, uh, the institutes like IITs and IIMs, they'll be the JNU and the DU, they'll be the Mark Darshaks, right? And they are going to serve these uh, institutes who have, who, have, who have the capabilities to become a better institutes, right? Uh, and help them improve the quality of their uh, education. So Mark Darshan and Mark Dashak, Ministry by of HRD. Uh, this is important. 50 lakh rupees is going to be provided. 70% uh, of enrollment rate is compulsory. Pradhan Mantri Matru Vandana Yojana. Uh, this scheme is launched by the Ministry of Women and Child Development. Basically, it is a maternity benefit program. Uh, maternity benefit program. Under this scheme, rupees 5000 is going to be provided uh, in three installments. It is a direct benefit transfer scheme. Very important. What is the purpose? The purpose is to meet enhanced nutrition nutritional needs. I mean, that's very common. Uh, when uh, when a woman uh, give gives uh, when a woman gives born to a baby, right? She needs uh, better nutrition, more nutrition than an average human being, right? Uh, so to meet that enhanced nutritional needs of the mother and the child, the government is going to compensate that. It is a DBT direct benefit transfer scheme in which rupees 5000 is going to be provided in three months and additional benefit of 6000 rupees on an average is provided under Janani Suraksha Yojana. Okay. And then the fourth scheme is the NEAT, N-E-A-T, NEAT, uh, National Education Alliance for the Technology. Basically, the uh, companies, the private uh, companies, online education companies who are using the artificial intelligence will be part of this scheme, right? So, uh, all that educational portals, all educational, uh, you know, uh, products will be available under a single platform for 
to help disadvantaged communities so launched by the ministry of hrd okay and the objective is to harness the technologies of companies for better learning and outcomes in the higher education so the benefit is to provide easy access of technology to the marginalized students and was 25% free coupon code would be provided right so uh, the ministry has uh, you know there is a proper department the neat department is there uh, they has they have their own you know uh, standards to select the learning companies the e edutech companies so the companies like us won't be selected for sure because we do not have artificial learning um, you know the ai in our systems and trust me um, most of that uh, online institutes where you are learning they do not have ai except the few uh, obviously they have some political you know alliances so let's not talk about that so nirvik scheme so nirvik scheme uh, launched by the ministry of commerce and industry right so basically whenever uh, an exporter exports his products right uh, the distance is uh, really large the distance is uh, really large and obviously if the distance is large it, it is going to uh, and the, the exporter is shipping the products right there is always a risk of loss of products i mean there is a financial risk so ecgc provides that insurance now under nirvik scheme 90% of the principal and interest 90% of the in, uh, the insurance cover would be provided uh, for the pre and post shipment loss uh, before that present coverage is 90% uh, by the ecgc but under nirvik scheme 90% coverage is to be provided and this is really important 90% coverage is to be provided to boost the export sector in india okay ecgc is uh, providing the scheme obviously okay national pension scheme for traders and self employed person it has some other name as well to main baad mein bataunga national pension scheme for traders and self employed uh, obviously the traders shopkeepers they do not get any you know pension scheme from the government but now the modi government they are providing uh, this scheme to that uh, traders obviously to attract the votes so if uh, a trader or a shopkeeper having an annual turnover of up to 1.5 crore and if he is contributing uh, money to you know uh, the pension scheme the uh, the 50 the same amount of uh, you know uh, invest same amount of money is to be invested by the central government right so if a person is investing 1000 rupees the state government is going to invest the same amount of money and it is launched and administered by the ministry of labor and employment and objective is to obviously to provide uh, the financial security to traders uh, after the age of 60 right so the minimum uh, sum assured is rupees 3000 once the subscriber attains the age of 60 and the beneficiary can uh, join the scheme uh, after the age of 18 and before the age of 40 okay and rashtriya poshan ma the month of september 2019 has been observed as a um, you know rashtriya poshan ma right and the theme is complimentary feeding and this is really important this is really important complimentary feeding and this month is uh, is celebrated to spread the message of nutrition to every citizen and the objective of this scheme is holistic nourishment with a vision to address malnutrition uh, by 2022 and it aims at providing nutritional status of uh, children up to age of 6 pregnant women lactating mothers and the adults and girls so basically the most important part of rashtriya poshan ma uh, the month of september 2019 is observed as a rashtriya poshan ma first important question, uh, question and the second one the theme is complimentary feeding and to uh, you know address the malnutrition by 2022 this is also very important under the rashtriya poshan ma pm kisan urja suraksha evam uthan mahabhiyan the basic goal of this uh, uh, of this scheme is to make use of renewable sources of energy uh, and to less rely on um, coal and oil and you know fossil fuels so under this scheme establishment of 10000 megawatt of grid connected solar and other renewable energy power uh, projects of cap capacity of 50, uh, 500 kilowatt to 2 megawatt to be established uh, so setting up of 17.5 lakh solar agricultural pumps of power uh, up to 7.5 horsepowers and solarization of 10 lakh grid connected agriculture pumps of capacity up to 7.5 horsepower 
so agriculture pumps they they use a lot of energy the goal is to solarize them right to make them use the solar energy the ministry of new and the renewable energy uh, uh, energy is a nodal agency budget is 34422 crores it is a big scheme decentralize the solar power generation make use of arid land or degraded land conserve the water to provide additional means of income to the farmers through selling the surplus power to the discom so the farmers can actually sell the surplus power and to enhance the water security for farmers through reliable sources of uh, solar power production on total capacity of 25.75 uh, gigawatts by 2022 pradhan mantri lagu vyapari mandhan yojana this is the same scheme lagu vyapari uh, national pension scheme for trader and self employed hindi mein isko ye kehte hain lagu vyapari yojana the same scheme turnover doesn't increased 1.5 crores ministry of labor and employment and budget allocation for the scheme is 70 uh, 750 crores and objective is obviously uh, assured pensions uh, to provide assured pension scheme of 3000 rupees to all uh, the small traders merchant and shopkeepers to help them you know secure their um, uh, secure their uh, you know retirement actually the benefits i already told you uh, assured 3000 rupees per month of uh, you know pension and 50% of the monthly contribution is to be provided by the central government pradhan mantri shram yogi mandhan yojana and what about that um, unorganized workers there is no scheme for the unorganized workers there are a lot of scheme for farmers and now for that uh, traders and all but there is no uh, scheme for the unorganized workers and to avail this scheme the workers have to contribute a minimal rupees 100 per month and the government is going to provide 3000 rupees per month of pension after uh, that uh, unorganized worker achieve uh, achieve a age of 60 or attain a age of 60 right so again this scheme is under the ministry of labor and employment all these schemes uh, the shram yogi mandhan yojana even the previous and lagu vyapari yojana they are all under uh, labor ministry of labor and employment really really important right and 10 crores workers are going to get benefit under this scheme right and the central government is going to contribute 50% of um, of that uh, <coughs> सबका विश्वास स्कीम मिनिस्ट्री बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फाइनेंस सी स्टूडेंट्स आफ्टर वन द जी एस टी यू नो वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस देर वर अ लॉट ऑफ अदर टैक्सेज लाइक विच वर रिप्लेस्ड लाइक एक्साइज ड्यूटी और द स्टेट वैट टैक्सेज और सर्विस टैक्स दे वर ऑल मस्ड इन टू जी एस टी बट स्टिल देर वर अ लॉट ऑफ डिस्प्यूट्स विद द टैक्सेशन अथॉरिटीज द टैक्स पेज हैड अ लॉट ऑफ डिस्प्यूट्स विद द टैक्सेशन अथॉरिटीज so uh, to solve these issues the government of india they brought the sabka vishwas scheme under the scheme waivers or sort, sort of discounts are to be provided if the duty demand is less than 50 lakh 70% discount is provided uh, and if uh, sort of discount you can say uh, relief margin or you can say discount uh, if it is more than 50 lakh rupees 50% uh, relief margin is provided so uh, the tax payers they can you know Uh, they can close the cases uh, by paying uh, you know 50% if that uh, demand is more than 50 lakh if the demand is let's say 1 crore rupees that person can pay 50 lakh and it's all over okay pradhan mantri kisan mandhan yojana similar to the schemes uh, i already discussed for the unorganized laborers or the traders so this is for the small and marginal farmers the definition of small and marginal farmers i already told you between the age group of 18 and 40 and they are going to uh, voluntarily they need to contribute uh, monthly for, from rupees 55 to 200 and once they attain the age of 60 they'll get a monthly pension of rupees 3000 and the government is going to contribute uh, rupees 10774 crores for the next 3 years and the basically the goal is to provide pension to the farmers once they attain the age of 60 so that's that's I, i think all about today students if you want to join the complete rbi grade b course in which i am providing video classes notes test series yojana kurukshetra analysis pib analysis rbi and sebi circular analysis everything is part of rbi grade b 2019 course so phase 1 course is av available separately and then there is phase 2 course is available separately and the bundle is also available you can also buy rbi grade b grade b gk digest in which i am doing the analysis of rbi circulars pib yojana kurukshetra 
so it's a kind of notes that we are work, uh, we are providing videos are not part of it so uh, you can whatsapp me on 9067201000 so take a demo on bank exams today is mobile application or go to learn.bankexamstoday.com so this is a list of our successful students in past uh, just give it a look okay so that's all for today students if there is any doubt whatsapp me or call me anytime so thank you and have a very nice day